Is this supposed to look like this? It doesn't look like that on Mrs. Brill, does it? Don't be impertinent. Give me some water. Honestly, Miss Jane, I was only trying to be helpful if you would. This is Josh. I'm here at Tiff County High School. We just finished a musical called Mary Poppins. I'm going to demonstrate some of the uh, props we use for Mary Poppins. I don't have a theater background, so you probably look at this and say that's not the right way to do it, but it worked and uh, it actually worked fairly well. So, in Mary Poppins, Robertson A is a pretty clumsy person. He falls in and collapses the table and a couple other things. So, I'm going to kind of demonstrate how we do it. So, this is the kitchen scene, kitchen table. Robertson A burns his hand. I'm going to turn it on to make sure it's active. He comes over, falls into the table. This happens. Um, this is an old cafeteria table that used to fold up like this. We reversed it and did it like this. Off scene, you can follow the camera. Someone stands over here with the remote control, and you can see here, but I'm gonna demonstrate what happens when I hit off to kill the power, the table pops back into place. You say, well, that's pretty cool. That's how it's done. Well, so I'm gonna show you a quick. You look on the back of the table. We have, like I said, an old cafeteria table, put a couple hinges on it to make it fold. For tension, we use simple bungee cords. Cool thing about this is if you need more tension, you can actually wrap it around more. And to actually power it, we use a DeWalt battery into a wireless on-off switch to a magnet that goes for like a um, door access. So if I turn it on, you see the on button here. This comes down, if you come over with the camera here, you can probably see it. This actually catches, right in here, this magnet here. When I release it, it pops up. So that's how it works, powered by a DeWalt battery. Simple, like I said, we put an adapter here that holds the battery itself. Turn it on, goes down, catches. When I hit off, it releases and pops up. Same scene that we did with the kitchen table collapsing, Robson A actually falls into this. We designed this to where it can collapse or look like it's destroyed, but also be fixed fairly quickly. Robson A comes over, falls in, collapses the china cabinet, dishes fall. If you come in a little bit, you can see, pretty simple all we did to hold these shelves up was use some bolts. Now I have my son on the backside, he's gonna reload it for me by simply pulling the first rope, lifts the cabinets up, second rope pulls that in, they set back down, third rope pulls dishes across, fourth rope pulls dishes across. What it does, it demonstrates when Mary Poppins snaps her finger that it magically happens by itself. So I'm gonna spin this around let you kind of see what the back side looks like. Very simple. You have one, which pulls away the shelf. That's the hardest part of this. Two, which pulls the pivot point in to hold the bolts. Three, which actually pulls the dishes on the top across. And four, pulls the dishes on, top, uh, on the bottom across. Another one of the scenes we do, they actually sit on this and push it across. One of the effects we wanted was to actually have smoke come out of the smokestacks. They had to be wireless because they actually push it on a cart so we couldn't be tied down by wires. In order to do that, we simply use a car battery that is attached to a power inverter. It's 1100 power, 1100 watt power inverter. Smoke machine inside here. You push the button and you can see the smoke comes out. The nice thing about this is when you want to go across stage, everything's bundled together. I can have the smoke move and as I move, it gives just a cool effect of almost like a train moving. But that's it. Pretty simple, power inverter and a battery. Step in time. We will step in. Step in time. Never need a reason. Never need a rhyme. We will step in. Step in time. Over the rooftop. Step in time. Actually, we'll show you one more. Mary Poppins, when she does this, she sits her bag on here, and they pass stuff up through. And how they do that is, we just made a trap door where they pull that out and hand stuff up through, but Mary Poppins bags covers all that. I'm gonna slide back around. You can see I can hand stuff up through here, and when I'm done, 
I slide this back into place. And Mary Poppins actually sets something on top of there. All of it's illusion, so no one sees that because once uh, she puts something on top of it, then it looks solid. But Josh Boyer, Chip County High School, Mary Poppins. See you guys. Now, first things first, I always say the proper place to hang a hat is on a hat stand. But there's nothing in it. We'd better keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. Mary Poppins, how did you know what we wanted in Annie when we made our list? Your list? I am not an item in the weekly shop, thank you very much. How did you come then? It was as if the wind blew you here. It did. Now stand over there. <laughs> 